สวัสดีครับสบายดีไหมครับอยากจะทานอาหารทะเลไหมอยากจะทานอาหารทะเลไหมครับอยากจะ you know that now would you like ทานอาหาร is the formal way to say eat we've been using gin kao but if you want to be more formal or polite you would say ทานอาหาร Tan ahan, that means to eat. Yagja tan ahan, tale, my? Tale, tale is the ocean, sea. So I'm asking, would you like to have some tea, some uh, seafood? Would you like to eat some seafood? Yagja tan ahan, tale, my crop? You betcha. Aului. Aului means, of course, certainly. Hell yes. Aului, you bet, you bet I want to eat some seafood. Now, even though it's very, very inexpensive to stuff yourself with seafood in Thailand, you got to have a little money, of course. So let's talk about Thai currency today. Make sure that you know what you're talking about. Okay? In Thailand, the banknotes come in denominations of 20, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. A banknote is called bang. Bang, bang. So, for instance, a thousand baht a banknote would be bang pun, bang pun, bang pun. Pun is one thousand. Bang is a banknote. A one thousand baht banknote would be bang pun. Five hundred baht banknote would be bang ha roy, bang ha roy, and so on. A coin in Thai is called rian. Lien. I can't let you get away with the lazy R here. You cannot say Lien. Thais won't understand you. You must say Lien. Lien. That means coin. Roll that R, baby. Lien. A 10 baht coin is called Lien Sib Baht. Lien Sib Baht. A 5 baht coin is Lien Ha Baht. Lien Ha Baht. You also have little tiny coins that divide the bot into 50% and 25%, okay? They're called setang. Setang, hasib setang, is uh, half of a one bot. Yi sib ha setang. Yi sib ha setang is a quarter of one bot. Now today in Thailand, most small stores and shops will not accept satang anymore. Too much trouble, they won't accept it. So if you get a big stack of satang, either take it down to a supermarket, which might still accept it, or you can take it to the bank and uh, put it in your savings account. Or if you're like me, you've got a Thai girlfriend and you just give it to her to give to her uh, family because they're all konjon. Konjon, if you wanna know what konjon means, Stick around for next week's lesson. And now it's time for crispy pickled okra.